face to face with me, Grandmaster Nitzan Steinberg. Hello everyone and welcome back. How are you today? So as you can see, today there is no chess board. We are talking between you and me and I really want to recommend you five very important tips that can help you in your chess skills, chess improvement and your chess career. So don't go anywhere, it must help you. So before I will start, I really want to show you my YouTube channel, 861 subscribers, 75 videos. Thank you very much for everything, for every like, every comment. It's really, really improving me and giving me motivation. So thank you very much. You can see here so much videos about a match between me against Gotham Chess, two games that we played. Of course, game against one of the best players in the world, Hans Niemann. And also with number three in the world, Grandmaster Ikaro Nakamura. So you must see these videos. Don't go anywhere. We only started. So live streams. Also, you can see here, I'm playing the title Tuesday, you know, against the best players in the world. Magnus Carlsen there, Caruano Fabiano, and also Vladimir Kramnik. So it's very, very good for you to see me playing in live. And also shorts, of course, and also a very interesting questions in the community that you just must see. And of course, so much playlist that you just can enjoy and learn. So only the thing that I am asking you, subscribe my channel, put the ring for all, and that's it. You will see me here with content every day. So I want to start with tip number one. You know, a lot of you guys are texting me, messaging me, also in chesscom, also in my email about, you know, how do you play, how to, how to improve, you know, from rating 1000 to 1500 in Chesscom or in Liches. But you know what? I want to show you um, the, the complexity of this um, question because you're playing in Chesscom, right? In your computer, but it's not a real chess game, right? You don't see your opponent you are not see the clock right you are not pressing the clock on after every move you are not seeing the arbiter of course right you're just you know sitting like this playing with your mouse and um, this is a chess game and you want to improve so the first tip that i must tell you guys go to play over the board because you know it's not a real chess game when you are playing on chesscom you are not feeling your opponent you cannot see his face right because it's very it's very unusual to play right F for example football messi is playing and he sees ronaldo and mbappe right he's is feeling them right on the board on you know the um um, the, the the gameplay right so it's very important to understand that chess game over the board is something you know so so uh, difficult to handle right also don't forget that when you're playing over the board you cannot speak with anybody right you are playing now you will finish this video and you will click in Chesscom three minutes and you will play by at the same time you can speak with your girlfriend, with your brother, with your mother, with your father and you're not concentrate. So we're coming to tip number two. Don't be tired when you're playing chess. Okay, it's very important to relax to be in comfortable area when you're playing with no noise, no brother, no sister, no father, no mother. You must be concent concentrate, of course. It's, you know, when you're playing chess, you are taking all your power in your computer, right? Your uh, brain, of course, you're taking all of your energy to think about how can I improve my position? 
what is the threat from the opponent, right? It's very, very hard game. So you must be in your 100%, okay? So don't be tired, go to sleep, right? Go to sleep before you're playing tournaments or games or, or, or just playing chess uh, in Chesscom. Of course, over the board, you must be in 100% control and energy and power. So tip number three, what do you think about tip number three? Oh, let's see, let's see. I will tell you what. You must improve your chess skills every day. But how can I do it? So for example, playing rapid games, right? It's very important to play long games. Why? Because when you're playing bullet or blitz, you cannot really think about the moves. You can't really think about the gameplay, the plan of, of, you know, the positions, what your opponent threatening. You must take your time. And after every game that you are playing, not to play another one, not to be in tilt. You must analyze every game and think by yourself and to understand what computer is saying and to analyze and understand your mistakes and how can you uh, uh, realize it in your next game. So this was tip number three. And tip number four, you know, almost the most important, you must believe in yourself because in chess, it's really sport. You must have the confidence and the, uh, the motivation that brings you the win, that brings you the draw, right? We have a lot of positions in chess that we are not in a good position and maybe we will lose, but don't give up. It's sport, you can do it. And you know, I, I, I'm always saying to my students, chess is a very, very um, special sport because, for, for example, in football, when you are playing, okay, if one day Piquet from Barcelona, Gerard Piquet, the legend, will not have a good day and he will do a lot of mistakes and, you know, uh, the, the opponent will, he will put two goals because of the mistakes of Piquet. But Messi, Leo Messi, the legend, the GOAT, the best player in football of history, will put five goals. Nobody will remember it for Piquet, right? So in chess, you're alone. You don't have, um, you know, some helpers. No, you are just alone. Three, four, five, six hours, you are alone. You're talking with yourself and you must be kind to yourself, right? Not to be rude, you know, to be, to be nice, to, to love yourself. And also after lost, everything is fine. It's only a game. So tip number five, ask your managers every time questions. And it brings me also to the, to the understanding of the way that you are playing chess. Why do you play chess? You are playing to win the game or not to lose? So I can tell you that I read a book, a very, very interesting book, that in this book, you know, one man interview the legend, one of the best basketball players in history, Kobe Bryant, RAP of course, and he asked him, why do you play basketball? Do you play to win or to play not to lose? And Kobe answered with the just amazing um, sentence. He, he said that not to lose and not to win. The way he's playing basketball is to enjoy the game, to develop the game to to enjoy improving your skills in the game so when you are playing to win what will be if you will lose you will be ashamed 
you will feel like, oh, it's very bad, it's a sad moment. It's not good for you, right? Because you will be afraid to lose. And of course, afraid not to win. But if you are afraid to lose, what will be if you will lose? Nothing. Everything is fine, right? So, you know, all of these feelings might be just bad for you. So you need to combine everything and say to yourself, you're playing chess to enjoy the game, to develop your thinkful brain, right? To develop your creativity, to have, you know, to have time with your opponent, to play against him, to, to, th to think about his threats, to, to think about your plan, to think about, uh, you know, ac activity of your pieces, attack in the king's side, the end game, middle, maybe the middle spiel, right? So all of this concludes enjoy and fun. And don't think about the result. Don't think about the rating. Just enjoy the game, develop your skills and have fun because this is what we are doing in life. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel. It really gives me motivation and improving my skills here in YouTube. So thank you very much. See you soon. Bye bye.